Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. We're going to be taking a look at the Zombies Reveal trailer, which is not just the cinematic trailer, it's gameplay as well, okay? I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am, because I'm, 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 I'm pumped to at least see what the trailer's going to be like. We have seen a bit of gameplay, which I've already posted on my channel so far, so not all of this is going to be totally new to me, but still, we're just going to get into it here and see, what, see what's in store for us. Okay, copyrighted music is in store for us. Fine, whatever. Okay. It's goopy and it's gooey. There are cysts. Oh. One of our patrols reported hostile contact. Bro, that gave me like a dead space vibe. Like not to keep pausing like way too frequently in this video, but this really looks like one of those dead space creepy crawlers that attacks you. Uh, and what is this on the side here? Okay. Hmm. One of our patrols reported hostile contact. Then went dark. Oh. Spooky. They're really going for that realism, aren't they? It's really weird. It's like it's so serious. Okay. Yeah, running over zombies is never not gonna be fun. That's always gonna be a good time. So it's as you can see, it's a war zone map, right? We're all on board with the fact that it's a war zone map. Right. The situation is dynamic and evolving. There are other friendly assets on the ground. I did not know that juggernauts were going to be in it. I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of annoying, not going to lie. Juggernauts are just a pain. <laughs> but hey, if they give me good rewards, then fair enough. Join forces to take out what is this threat. egg? Dog? Puppy? Open? Open world. Okay. What was that launch? Did bro just use a wonder weapon to launch himself into the sky? What was that? He's holding the wonder weapon, right? So... Huh? Friendly squad in the AO. We'll begin to assist. Strike team, you have execute authority. Proceed to the high threat zone. Okay, yes. Give me more of the old zombies feet. Yeah, pack a punch, good. Forget what you know. They really said forget what you know. <laughs> forget what you know. Monsters are real. So I think that was SSO Green talking, and this is a mega abomination, which we saw in the gameplay that I've already posted. They look pretty damn awesome, and I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've always been a big fan of the Margoir design. I think that Margoirs are just like. They're just a really cool boss. So the fact that we ended up with abominations and now we've ended up with these, like I'm I'm all for that. Um I'll talk a little bit more about their balance in just a moment. Here they, come. they are so large. Bro, Ether Bicycle? Hello? What the Okay, that's cool. I don't know why his motorbike is etherized. Does anyone have any idea what the hell's going on there? I'm... It also looked like he used like maybe like a field upgrade while riding the bike. You see that? Ray guns in the box. That was really weirdly edited. I don't know why they edited the trailer that way. Like why did they put this weird left hand ray gun shot in? That's super strange. And the pap camo looks okay, but it also doesn't seem to have affected the sound of the gun or like the visuals particularly. Like it just sounds normal, right? Like that's a normal shotgun sound and like normal sort of effect. So it's just, I guess it's just the camo by the looks of things. Welcome to Operation Deadbolt. Oh, bro has lasers coming out of his mouth? Oh, that's just a camo. That's not pack a punch. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Thank you, chat. Welcome to Operation Deadpool. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. What is this? Wait, is this is this not pack a punch? 
Because why are they using this camo so much if it's not Pack-a-Punch? Also, what is this worm? Why is there a... So is this the Megabot? This is the world boss that people have been talking about? I wish we had a clear look at it. So again, very dead space. Like, big old worm or like destiny, right? Um, yeah, interesting that we've got this big worm boss that needs to be taken down. So what we essentially know about this, and I'm going to just rattle through a little bit of sort of information as we watch through this muted one more time here. Essentially, it's a 60 minute timer. You have to leave the map after 60 minutes or you just die. And the overall kind of flow is very, very oriented towards co-op play, not solo, which means that you are pretty much forced to team up with other squads if you want to take down that world boss at the end oh what up jc how's it going bud so so far jc i'm i'm not gonna lie the tone of everything is really weird to me it's giving it's it, it's 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 giving like modern warfare more than it's giving treyarch for like every aspect of it which makes me a little spooked not gonna lie um because, like, Cold War was... At least Cold War knew it was goofy. Do you know what I mean? Like, Cold War was... Was a pretty goofy game in a lot of respects. Like, we literally had Ronald Reagan, like, delivering pizzas and stuff. Like, all sorts of silliness like that. This, like, even just the color grading of the trailer, I think... Uh, that alone says so much about the tone that they are going for with this game. Because it's like this. It's desaturated. It's grungy. It's high contrast it's it's taking the idea of locking down outbreaks around the world or an outbreak in this location very seriously and so they're leaning into the idea of like yeah you being across a bridge from a zombie and getting a headshot on the zombie that in itself is cool because it's like you're a special ops soldier eliminating the zombie threat but it's a lot less of the sort of goofiness that i feel like we're used to and that is something that I am a little concerned about personally because it it could so easily be such a fun kind of funky like blackout inspired zombies kind of mode but instead it's definitely much more grungy like maybe even more so than DMZ um like DMZ was somewhat serious I think uh but it still didn't feel sort of grungy in this way whereas this feels really grungy I think that's a good word word for it um and it's it's actually really wild because going through the trailer like here, this kind of vibe, like this entire sort of aesthetic that they're going for is, again, it's very modern warfare. And then you suddenly have this, right? It's like, bro, where, what planet? I've just literally jumped universes. Like it's such a stark contrast going from the overt and extreme seriousness of everything here to then being like, oh yeah, it's Treyarch, by the way. And then it's back to like, by the way, we're serious. Like that's that's something that I, I'm curious if when you're playing it, it's going to feel a little bit more married and cohesive because as it stands right now, it's, it's really stark. Like this is what I meant about it being cool, you like shooting a zombie across a bridge. And then again, it's like, super serious shoot a zombie across the bridge and then pack a punch and i'm like yes it's the treyarch like pack a punch i love the treyarch pack a punch it makes me so happy just seeing the goddamn thing um and the monkey obviously Forget same thing know. and i think these are cool are real. i think this is cool like that's that's great um but the rewards exactly to your point jc they seem to be like the rewards are like perk cans and things which are going to persist and Noah in his video was talking a little bit about how there's like some kind of schematics that you can get so you can get a ray gun as your loadout weapon and then it will kind of go on cooldown every 48 hours and stuff like that so they're experimenting with some kinds of rewards for endgame but i i think that it's going to really be something that you have to play to truly know whether or not it's worth grinding for because like I am not going to be very motivated to jump into an, uh, a game mode like this, risk losing my loadout weapons, and then, like, 
grind really hard just to get a juggernaug can that i can spawn in with the next game like that feels like a weird balance but it might be that there's other stuff there and like story stuff there's apparently acts with the story so you can unlock new cutscenes and new actual like side areas like not on this map like new actual spaces by doing the story quests that it leads you through in that three act structure so like there's potential for that to be really cool um and i'm really hopeful for the story this year personally i i'm just i'm really interested to see how they begin building the world out now that they've had like cold war as set up and now we've got um vanguard obviously being like a throwback but vanguard was already set in a period of time where we already knew like foregone conclusions um whereas this is this is new sandbox space for them to like experiment in and so i'm, I'm very very interested to see where that story goes um but yeah in terms of the overall kind of gameplay flow noah didn't sound super enthusiastic in his video i'm not gonna lie and there's just a lot of questions here that we still don't really have answers to um because the gameplay looks like shooting zombies that's sort of all they've shown and i get it like that's the point of zombies but at the same time i'm like when you're making an extraction game mode i need to i need to see the extracting process i need to know like why i care about extracting and whether you are gonna be able to bait me into doing it over and over and over again and making me super satisfied with that endless loop right um and as it stands that material is just not here yet so we can't really judge that aspect of it um i like the idea of there being a world boss like this 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 chunky boy at the end here somewhere oh my god amongst the microtransactions where is he he's somewhere he's just before this right yeah that like this world boss cool right um but again like will it actually be super fun to take down i don't know it's just too early to say um and there's no main easter egg quest if it would if if the world boss were the end of an easter egg quest i think that would be sick but if the world boss is just there every single match it's probably not going to be that epic to take it down and my guess is that it's going to become so second nature that like you aren't going to even really think about it that much because you're just going to do it every game or you're going to never do it do you know what i mean so like the 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 story implications of it i'm excited about and i'm i'm interested in i think that's the main word to use here but a lot of the other stuff that we're seeing in the gameplay i'm i'm just sort of like lacking context for like we've got some like what this is a zombies a shot from a zombies trailer this if i showed any of you in the stream right now this shot and i said guess what trailer that's come out of you'd straight away be saying multiplayer or you'd be saying spec ops right because this does not feel like zombies and that does not feel like zombies and this does not feel like zombies that obviously feels like zombies though but it's still it's that it's that, that it's a very different perspective which honestly that alone is interesting hi guys as my alert goes off thank you for the donation like that alone is interesting the fact that it's a different take on the vibe um maybe in the story that will mean that it starts off like super serious because that's what it looks like but then they'll take it in the zany direction was when we get into it or vice versa i don't know we'll see uh but for now those are my first impressions on the zombies trailer. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe for more zombies content in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.